everyone, I'm Karen. Welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today I have a follow-up video to the review that I posted about the AreaWare gradient puzzles a few weeks ago, which as beautiful as they are as like home decor items, I definitely had a few issues with them as puzzles. And I literally said in the video, I don't know if after all of this, they're ever gonna send me more puzzles again, but Spoiler alert, they did send me more puzzles. They sent me this pattern puzzle, which I had mentioned at the end of that video. I've been wanting to try these for a long time now. And they also sent me this pizza little puzzle thing. I'm gonna talk about both of these, but first let's start with the pattern puzzle. So there are three puzzles in their pattern series and the one that they sent me is called Lenticular. These are designed by Dusen Dusen. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, <laughs> but they're a textile company. And I loved everything about this puzzle. I feel like they took everything that I liked about the gradient puzzle but just improved it so much by putting an image on the puzzle that is much more doable to actually solve. I had so much fun with this puzzle. I definitely need to get the other two in the series. This is definitely one that I'm going to be returning to, but let's get into it. Let's get into all of the little details. This is packaged very similarly to the gradient puzzle where the design goes all the way around the top of the box but unlike the gradient puzzles, they had to include an image of the entire puzzle design on the back of the box. And I really appreciated that since obviously the entire thing is not on the front of the box. Just like the gradient puzzles, it is shrink wrapped and the sticker on the front is on top of the shrink wrap. So that gets removed when you open it up. The box is beautiful quality, very glossy, and I still love that they put a haiku on the back of their puzzle boxes. That's such a fun, whimsical touch that feels very unique to their company. There isn't a poster or anything else inside, so the image on the back is the only place that you see the entire puzzle design. But since it's so graphic and there really aren't any tiny details, you really don't need the picture to be any bigger than this. If we open it up, the bottom of the box is just black. The pieces come in a sealed bag that you have to cut open, and they're very similar to the gradient puzzles. I don't know if the cut is exactly the same or if they switch it up a little, but the shapes of the pieces are very similar, and if you have one of the gradient puzzles, you can expect the pattern puzzle to be the exact same quality. The colors are super vibrant, and they're not the thickest cardboard pieces I've ever encountered, but they still feel really high quality and they fit together tightly. So looking at all of these stripes, you might get a little intimidated, but I actually found this puzzle to be the perfect difficulty level for me. The fact that there is an actual image on it, unlike the gradient puzzles, meant that while I did occasionally put a piece in the wrong spot, it didn't happen nearly as often as it did on the gradient puzzles, and it was much easier for me to spot my mistake and correct it. You can see that even though all of these very graphic pieces look like they might be confusing, it's actually not that hard to first pull out all of the yellow pieces and do all of the yellow and black stripes, and then the yellow and green stripes, and so on. Towards the end, when there's just a lot of green and blue left, it did get a little trickier, but it was still totally doable, and I never felt like I was stuck at any point. From starting to put together the edge to putting in the last piece only took me about an hour and 20 minutes, which is what I would expect for a 500 piece puzzle like this.
Honestly, I wish they offered these designs in 1,000 or 2,000 piece versions because I think those would be even more fun. I just love how graphic and colorful this image is, and I feel like these three pattern puzzles are where Area Wear has really gotten it right. This is one of the most fun and modern puzzles I've ever seen, definitely one of my new favorites. said in my last video, I love Area Wear as a company. They have been nothing but generous to me and they produce some really awesome products even outside of puzzles. So I was so happy to do this puzzle and really, really love it and just really be happy with one of the puzzles that they made. If you want to get these for yourself, they cost $25 each and at least where I am in California, the cheapest shipping option is $8. And they're also on Amazon, but they're still $25 there, and they're not on Prime at the moment, so the shipping is $10. So these are not cheap, but if you really want one, maybe just keep an eye out for if they ever do put them on Amazon Prime, and then you could save that shipping fee. But if you have the budget for it, I loved this puzzle so much, and I would definitely recommend this one over the gradient puzzles if you wanna do uh, an area wear puzzle that is a more fun puzzling experience. If you're just looking for like really beautiful home decor, I like the boxes of the gradient puzzles a little more because they're a little more like understated. But um, as far as the puzzle is concerned, I think you can tell that I much prefer this one. Oh, and something that I forgot to mention in the last video, something that I love about the area wear puzzles is that they keep their box shape consistent across all of their different puzzles. And it's not the like typical kind of flat square box shape. Um, I feel like this uh, more vertical type of puzzle box is just a lot more modern. If you have a bunch of them lined up in a row, if you just start collecting all of the area wear puzzles, I think they just look beautiful next to each other. Also, the mini gradient puzzles are exactly half the size of these full size ones. So if you get some of those, um, they'll all line up perfectly neatly on your bookshelf. And again, since this one has no actual branding on the outside of the box, you can just have this out on display and it is not immediately obvious that it's a puzzle, which is something that I actually really like. All right, moving on to the Little Puzzle Things puzzles. I uh, might not have such nice things to say about these. Let's get into it. <laughs> so, okay, these little puzzle things are exactly what it sounds like. They are miniature puzzles, and all of them are food items. So for my birthday this past year, my sister got me this birthday cake slice puzzle, and then uh, just this past week, Area Wear sent me this pizza slice puzzle. They have two collections of these out right now, so there are 15 total options that you can get. And once again, I really wanted to like these, but I had some issues with the puzzling experience. But first, let's talk about the design on the box. The boxes are beautiful. I love the design on it. They had a lot of information to fit on there and they did a really good job. I love the bold yellow color, the bold black text, and the little summary on the side for each of their different food items. That's really funny. Once again, they are shrink wrapped, but there's nothing on the outside of the shrink wrap, so you're not losing any of the design once you open it up. And once you open up the box, you actually get a little sheet of stickers of all of the different designs that they make, which I think is so fun and so unique. It's not something I've ever seen a puzzle do before, but I just think that's really cute. The pieces come in a small sealed bag that you have to cut open, and then that's everything that's in the box. Okay, so as you can tell, I love their packaging. 
but the puzzle pieces themselves leave something to be desired. The cardboard is super thin, and it reminds me of the dollar store puzzles that I reviewed a few months ago. They're so much thinner than the pattern puzzle pieces, which just feel so much higher quality, and the little nubs on the puzzle pieces to actually connect them together they're basically just half circles. They don't come in at the bottom, which is what makes puzzle pieces lock together. So as you can see, as I start to put it together, the pieces just don't stay together very well. I do like that it has a yellow border, so the edge is easy to find, and that they're shaped puzzles and not just the usual rectangle. I think that's really fun. And obviously a 70 piece puzzle is not going to take me very long to do. This one took me about 10 minutes from start to finish. But are you ready for this? The tip of the pizza slice doesn't even lock into the puzzle. If you move the rest of the puzzle, the tip stays behind. It doesn't even all stay together as one finished puzzle. Once again, I just find that to be kind of lazy puzzle making since there are only 70 pieces there. So how could this not have been discovered and corrected in the testing? So at $15 each, I just wouldn't say that these are worth it, especially for the quality of the pieces that you're getting and how little time it takes to put together. I mean, if you like collect everything to do with broccoli or you have an inside joke with someone about donuts, then maybe sure it would be a fun little addition. And if you know someone that's just getting into puzzling and you wanna give them something that's not too challenging, then again, maybe, but I feel like there are so many other 100 and 300 piece puzzles out there that are also great for beginners, that are better quality than these and also cheaper. So for the audience that I have, all of you hardcore puzzlers out there, I just don't really think that these are worth the price. So again, I feel like my area wear review is very hot and cold. I love the pattern puzzles so much. I feel like this is where they really got it right. The little puzzle things, not really my thing. But as always, that is just my opinion. So I would love to know if you have ever done any of those puzzles, if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Once again, I'll have links to all of the puzzles that I talked about right down in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself. Don't forget to watch my review of the gradient puzzles if you wanna know more about those. And subscribe for more puzzle videos from me and also if you're watching all the way to the end your code word for the comments is pizza so put that somewhere in your comment and i'll know that you watched this entire very nerdy video <laughs> and i think that's going to be it from me so thank you for watching i'll see you all next time